Have you ever wondered why your simple presence seems to overwhelm others without even trying? This question leads us to delve into the enigmatic world of the Chosen Ones, those individuals who by their very nature stand out from the rest. They are people enveloped in an aura of mystery, possessing unique attributes that are both a gift and a burden. In the realms of spirituality and myth, the Chosen Ones are often seen as those touched by the Divine. However, their path is one of solitude and misunderstandings. Join us as we explore this journey into their world, where we will discover the delicate balance between their powerful ascents and the isolation it inevitably entails. The first reason why the Chosen Ones find themselves shrouded in solitude lies in the sheer intensity of their presence. When they enter a room, the air changes, charged with an electrifying energy that commands attention without uttering a single word. The overwhelming presence of the Chosen Ones, infused with an almost supernatural energy, does more than just fill a room. It alters the very fabric of interactions. Weaving threads of intensity in each exchange, this magnetic and formidable energy acts as a beacon that attracts those around them with the promise of depth and authenticity. However, as people approach, they encounter a force that transcends mere personality a powerful essence that vibrates with the raw purity of the universe itself. It is this unbridled intensity that disturbs the core of those who encounter it, igniting a visceral reaction that oscillates between awe and discomfort. The aura of the Chosen Ones, charged with the wisdom of ages and the strength of untold stories, is not something that can be obscured or hidden. It shines like a beacon in the tumultuous seas of human interaction guiding but also warning. People feel this energy and are instinctively drawn towards its source, but they are unprepared for the torrent of emotions that ensnares them in the presence of a chosen one. It not only illuminates but penetrates, reaching the deepest recesses of the soul to awaken latent fears and desires. This profound impact, though a testament to the power of the chosen one, also fosters a sense of vulnerability in others, prompting a retreat to the safety of the familiar and mundane. This withdrawal is not simply physical, but emotional and spiritual, as people grapple with the revelations brought about by the presence of the Chosen One. The fear that arises is twofold. It is not only the fear of the unknown, but a deep unease that stems from being in the presence of someone who embodies strength and depth to such an extent that it reflects the voids within others. This involuntary mirror effect powerful enough to expose vulnerabilities and insecurities, leads to an instinctive withdrawal. Confronted with the magnitude of such presence, people feel intimidated, their own spirits cowering before the undeniable force of the Chosen One. This is not a deliberate assertion of dominance, but a natural emanation of their being, a glow so intense that it can isolate the Chosen One, even amidst a crowd. The result is a paradoxical existence where the profound and encompassing ability of the Chosen One for connection and transformation becomes the very thing that engenders isolation. The Chosen One walks a path of isolation, their journey marked by the deep footprints of those who have come close but retreated out of fear. Their world is one where the light of their presence, though brilliant, often illuminates paths that few are willing to tread. In this way, the greatest gift of the Chosen One, their intense energy that encompasses all, becomes their deepest challenge as they navigate a world that craves depth but shies away from their touch. The second reason for the Chosen One's solitary path stems from their innate preference for the sanctity of solitude or the intimate company of a few Chosen Ones, where the depths of their essence can be truly appreciated and understood. This deliberate choice does not arise from disdain for larger gatherings, but from a deep recognition of the dissonance that often arises in such environments. In the cacophony of the crowd, the deep vibrations of the Chosen One resonating with ancient wisdom and the silent whispers of the universe become muddled, their sacred messages lost in the superficial exchange of pleasantries. It is in the stillness of solitude or in the warmth of intimate circles where their spirit can soar unhindered by the need to dilute their essence to fit into the molds of social expectations. 
the discomfort and misunderstanding that flourish in the bustling environments of larger social gatherings stem from a fundamental lack of harmony in frequencies. The Chosen Ones operate on a wavelength that seeks depth, authenticity, and meaningful connection. Qualities often overshadowed by the superficial interactions that dominate large social gatherings. In these environments, their attempts to forge genuine connections are met with puzzlement and discomfort, as their intensity and depth unsettle those who are unprepared for such encounters. The Chosen One, keenly aware of this mismatch, feels the isolating walls of misunderstanding rise around them, while their efforts to connect on a level that transcends the mundane are met with polite smiles that conceal underlying discomfort. This isolation is not simply a physical separation, but a protective barrier that the Chosen Ones erect around their essence, a conscious choice to preserve their energy and maintain the integrity of their spiritual path. Understanding that the true value of their presence is best shared in environments where it can be fully received and honored. Thus, the Chosen Ones navigate the social landscape with a discerning heart, seeking out individuals who resonate with their own vibrational frequency. Here, in the sanctity of chosen solitude or in the company of a few, they find the freedom to express their deep thoughts and share their luminous energy without reservation, knowing that here they are understood, valued, and, most importantly, seen for who they truly are. The third reason why the Chosen Ones are alone amidst the crowd has its roots in the intricate dance of fear and attraction that they inevitably incite in others, a dichotomy that weaves a complex web of social dynamics around them. This duality is not simply a reaction, but a profound reflection of the human psychic response to the extraordinary. The Chosen One embodies a paradox, a beacon of light whose brilliance both beckons and blinds, a mirror whose clarity both reveals and intimidates. Their presence commands attention, exuding a charisma that is as undeniable as it is unsettling because it is imbued with a depth and authenticity that transcends the superficial allure of charisma. It is this same depth that draws people in, an invisible thread that pulls at the soul, promising the kind of deep connection and understanding that lies at the heart of human longing. However, as individuals draw near, they are confronted with the full force of the Chosen One's essence, a force so potent that it threatens to shatter the illusions upon which many base their lives. This confrontation with the raw truth of their own being, reflected in them through the gaze of the Chosen One, triggers a primal fear. It is the fear of being seen for who they truly are, of having the depths of their souls laid bare, of facing the shadows they have worked so hard to conceal. This potent and primal fear often halts initial action, leading to a retreat to the safety of the familiar, where the complexities of such deep connection can be avoided. The result of this dichotomy is a labyrinth of social interactions where the Chosen One is both sought after and avoided a figure of intrigue who is simultaneously revered and feared. This paradoxical existence creates a loneliness that is both imposed and chosen, as the Chosen One quickly learns that the depth of connection they seek and offer is too intense for many to bear. Thus, they find themselves walking a solitary path, not out of desire, but out of necessity as they navigate a world drawn to their light but intimidated by the truth it reveals. In this solitude, the Chosen One becomes a solitary beacon, guiding those few brave souls who are willing to navigate the treacherous waters of self-discovery and transformation, while remaining apart from those who choose the safety of the shore. The fourth reason that carves the solitary path of the Chosen Ones with such poignant clarity is the profound challenge they encounter in forging authentic connections. This struggle does not arise from a lack of desire for companionship, but from the extraordinary depth and intensity that are the hallmarks of their being. The Chosen Ones, by their very nature, are beings of deep depth, their souls resonating with echoes of ancient wisdom and truths that transcend the mundane. Their quest for connections is a quest for mirrors that can reflect this depth, 
for hearts that do not shy away from the intensity of their fire but are drawn to it, willing to share in the light and warmth it provides. However, such connections are rare, as rare as the chosen ones themselves. The rarity is not a matter of coincidence but a consequence of the unique blessing of strength, authenticity, and depth that defines them. Engaging with a chosen one on the level they crave and offer is to embark on a journey that demands vulnerability, courage, and a willingness to explore the uncharted territories of one's own soul. It is a journey that many, despite initial attraction, find too intimidating to undertake. The intensity of the Chosen One's presence, though a beacon of light, also illuminates the shadows that many would prefer to leave unexplored, leading to a retreat to the safety of shallower connections. This challenge in finding genuine relationships of understanding leaves the Chosen Ones walking a tightrope between the longing for deep connections and the acceptance of the solitude that their intensity often demands. It is a loneliness that is both a refuge and a prison, offering peace from the misunderstandings of the world, but also resonating with the silence of unshared depths. Thus, the Chosen Ones become custodians of a sacred solitude, guardians of a depth that few can comprehend, much less reciprocate. However, within this challenge lies the beauty of the Chosen One's journey, because when these rare connections occur, they are transcendental, forged in the fire of shared depth and understanding, capable of withstanding life's vicissitudes with a strength that is as unyielding as it is rare. Though few become the beacon that illuminates the Chosen One's path, reminding them that even in a world that often feels too superficial for their depth, there are souls who can and will plunge into the abyss with them, embracing the intensity of their essence in all its terrifying beauty. The fifth reason that outlines the Chosen One's solitary journey is intrinsically linked to the realm of spiritual warfare, a dimension where invisible battles are fought with implications that far exceed our earthly understanding. This war is not fought with weapons forged of steel, but with the most powerful forces of authenticity, integrity, and truth, qualities that the Chosen Ones embody in their very essence. Their presence in any space not only occupies it, but transforms it, acting as a catalyst that ignites spiritual alchemy, transmuting falsehood into truth, shadow into light. This transformation, while a beacon for those seeking the path of authenticity, becomes a threat to the foundations upon which inauthenticity is built. The authentic presence of the Chosen One serves as a mirror, one that reflects not only the surface, but the depths of those who find in this reflection the discrepancies between who we are and who we pretend to be, exposing the facades behind which many hide. This exposure is unsettling as it confronts individuals with the parts of themselves they have tirelessly worked to conceal, not only from the world, but from their own consciousness. The discomfort that arises from this confrontation often manifests as avoidance or, in some cases, direct confrontation, as individuals react to the threat it poses to their constructed selves. This spiritual warfare then becomes a daily reality for the Chosen Ones, as their mere presence challenges the status quo, demanding authenticity in a world that often settles for less. They become involuntary warriors of truth, their armor made of the unwavering strength of their convictions and their shield, the deep and firm knowledge of their purpose. However, this war comes at a price, as the Chosen One often finds themselves alone on the battlefield, misunderstood by those they wish to liberate from the chains of inauthenticity. The avoidance and confrontation they face are not simply reactions to their presence but a testament to the power of their essence to disrupt the illusions upon which lives without authenticity are built. Thus, the Chosen Ones navigate a world where authenticity is both their greatest strength and their most isolating burden. They are warriors in a spiritual battle that is as ancient as it is ongoing, fighting not for dominance but for the liberation of the human spirit from the confines of falsehood. The sixth reason why the Chosen Ones navigate their existence apart from the crowd stems from a profound mismatch with social norms and expectations. These unique individuals are often the architects of their own worlds, their values and perspectives carving realms 
that starkly contrast with the status quo. This divergence is not simply a preference, but a rooted necessity, born of an intrinsic call to live in truth and authenticity. The chosen ones, by their very nature, are wired to challenge, question, and transcend the conventional, which inherently puts them at odds with prevailing culture. In typical social environments where conversations barely skim the surface of life's ocean, the chosen ones find little anchorage for their deeply held interests and convictions. The mundane chatter of daily existence, centered on the ephemeral and the material, offers no sustenance to souls hungry for depth and meaning. This disconnect is not simply intellectual but visceral, as the chosen ones feel a nearly physical discomfort when forced to confine their immensity within the small boxes of social expectations. It's like asking a giant to shrink to fit into a dollhouse. No matter how accommodating the giant tries to be, the fit will never be right, and discomfort is inevitable. As a consequence of this mismatch, the chosen ones often find themselves retreating into the sanctity of solitude, or the company of a few select individuals who have also glimpsed beyond the veil of social norms. In these spaces, they are free to explore and express the full spectrum of their being without fear of judgment or lack of understanding. These are the realms where conversations delve deep, where the currency is authenticity, and where the soul is nourished by philosophical reflections, spiritual explorations, and the tireless pursuit of truth. By embracing their mismatch with social norms, the Chosen Ones embody the courage to live according to their inner truths, serving as beacons for others who feel the same dissonance but fear the journey into the unknown. Their existence is a testament to the power of authenticity, a reminder that true belonging is found not in conforming to the external world, but in honoring the inner world. The seventh reason behind the Chosen One's inclination towards solitude and select company unfolds from their unwavering call to a higher purpose. This call is not a whisper but a clear trumpet call that resonates deeply in their bones, compelling them towards a destiny that far transcends the confines of ordinary existence. It is a mission imbued with the weight of the soul's purpose, a purpose that often demands a deep commitment to introspection, meditation, and constant refinement of their unique skills and understanding. For the Chosen Ones, this call to a higher purpose is as essential as breathing, an integral part of their being that cannot be ignored or dismissed. Faced with such a sacred mission, the hustle and bustle of large gatherings and the superficiality of everyday interactions may seem not only unappealing, but antithetical to their profound journey. Engaging in activities or conversations that do not resonate with their deeply rooted purpose feels like wasting time and energy, resources that could be better allocated to activities that align with their spiritual and existential goals. Therefore, the Chosen Ones naturally find themselves gravitating away from the hustle and bustle of conventional social life, seeking instead the clarity and tranquility offered by solitude. This solitude is not a retreat, but a strategic choice. Fertile ground for the Chosen Ones to cultivate their inner landscapes, delve into the depths of their souls, and connect with the universal energies that guide their path. It is in these moments of stillness and reflection that they receive insights, develop their skills, and strengthen their determination to fulfill their calling. The Chosen Ones understand that to answer this call, they must be willing to stand out from the crowd, to live on the margins of society, where the voice of their destiny is heard most clearly. This journey, though solitary, offers a profound opportunity for self-discovery and growth, a chance to immerse themselves in the depths of their being and emerge with a strengthened sense of self. The key to navigating this path lies in adopting strategies that not only alleviate the pains of solitude, but also celebrate the distinctive qualities that set them apart. A fundamental strategy is the cultivation of self-acceptance, a deliberate practice of recognizing and valuing one's unique attributes. This practice involves a deep introspective journey where the Chosen Ones learn to listen to the whispers of their own souls, understanding that their intense energy and profound depth are not burdens, but gifts. 
Through meditation, journal writing, or creative expression, the Chosen Ones can explore the landscapes of their inner worlds, finding peace in the authenticity of their own company. This peace, born of self-acceptance, becomes a sanctuary, a place of strength from which they can interact with the world without getting lost in it. Parallel to the journey of self-acceptance is the search for like-minded individuals or communities. Despite the rarity of connections that can withstand the intensity of their presence, such souls exist, perhaps other chosen ones or those few who seek depth and authenticity with the same fervor. Finding these people or communities requires patience and a willingness to venture beyond conventional social circles to places where spirituality, creativity, and deep philosophical discussions are not only welcomed but appreciated. Online forums, workshops, and gatherings centered around shared interests can serve as fertile ground for these connections, offering a sense of belonging and understanding that is often elusive in everyday interactions. Additionally, the Chosen Ones can leverage their isolation as a period of unparalleled creativity and spiritual growth, using their solitude to delve into practices that enrich their inner lives and expand their understanding of the universe. Whether through art, writing, or spiritual exploration, these practices allow them to channel their intense energy and deep insights into creations that can inspire and heal others, turning their isolation into a source of contribution. By embracing their uniqueness amidst isolation, the Chosen Ones embark on a journey of transformation, where the very qualities that set them apart become their greatest strengths. It is a journey that demands courage and vulnerability, but it is also one that leads to the realization that in the depths of their solitude lies the potential for deep connection, not only with others but with the most authentic and profound parts of themselves. This realization, once embraced, becomes a beacon of light that guides them towards a future where their uniqueness is not only accepted, but celebrated. A future where they find their tribe not by dimming their light, but by shining it more brightly than ever. The Chosen Ones, with their unparalleled energy, serve as reflective mirrors of truth in a world that often shies away from the depths of authenticity. Their journey, though marked by solitude, is a testament to the strength and resilience of the human spirit, a reminder that in the pursuit of genuine connection and understanding, one must first embrace the fullness of their own essence. The value of the chosen ones in society cannot be overstated, for they are the pioneers, the visionaries, and the silent guardians of depth and authenticity. Their path, though filled with challenges, is rich in the potential for profound personal and collective transformation. As this exploration concludes, it is vital to remember the importance of knowing and accepting oneself. The journey towards accepting our uniqueness is not only a personal achievement, but also benefits everyone, as our authenticity inspires others to discover their own essence. We invite you to share your stories if you resonate with this journey, or if it inspires you to do so. Not only do you illuminate your own path, but you also guide others seeking authenticity in a world that sometimes seems superficial. Your stories remind us that although we may feel alone, we are connected by the humanity we share. Each of us is special and on a journey of personal discovery. Join our community by subscribing and liking for more content that inspires and connects. Your support helps us share our light with more people and strengthen our connection. Let us celebrate these stories together, finding in them not only comfort, but also the strength to continue exploring who we are and how we relate to others.